From enjoying your favorite meal in the middle of a brawl to looking ahead at your destination, here are some psychology hacks that will work on anybody. Number 9. Eat. This might seem a little strange, and honestly, it is. But did you know that you can prevent or stop a conflict from transpiring by popping open a can of Pringles? Well, now you do. A fight can be halted by eating. One man named Charles Saunder brought some of these chips and a bag of gummy bears onto the New York City subway with him. During the trip, a woman on the train began beating up another man. So, Mr. Saunders stepped between the two opponents and kept eating his chips. He forced a barrier between them and they finished fighting. Saunders earned the name Snack Man when the video of the incident went viral. This happened again in California when two men started fighting on the side of the street. The brawl happened right outside of a pizza parlor. The owner of the restaurant was on the patio when it went down. And he rushed over to the two men to break it up, which he did by offering the guys a slice of pizza. The craziest part about this is that it worked. They accepted the cheesy offering and stopped pounding on each other. But what's the reason eating proves successful in these situations? Well, eating makes people feel comfortable, so they're less likely to keep the conflict going. Although, in the snack man's case, it's possible that the man and woman simply got confused by the guy eating Pringles between them and called it quits. Whatever the case, it seems like chowing down during tense times can help hinder an adverse situation. Number 8. Stop the Cycle One of the most annoying things that most, if not all of us, have experienced is getting a song stuck in our heads. That last tune you heard on the radio before heading into work can just about drive you mad throughout the course of the day. Luckily for you, there are a couple of psychological hacks you can use to get rid of those pesky earworms. According to Dr. Ira Hyman of Western Washington University, these repetitious jingles are most common when we're doing something less than exciting, such as driving, walking, or maybe using the elliptical that, according to Jillian Michaels, is a waste of time. One way to get that tune out of your head is to occupy yourself with something that takes some brain power. Doing crosswords, Sudoku, puzzles, or math problems are good ways to distract yourself from the song. Another way is to choose a different melody and sing it. Just make sure it's not too catchy unless you want another earworm. You can also try chewing gum. This seems to work for some people. So why not give it a try? You might also want to look up the lyrics to the song that's stuck in your head. When people forget lyrics, they become annoyed and keep trying to think of them. Therefore, if you find the words, memorize them, and finish the song in your head, then you might just shoo out that irritating jingle for good. Number 7. Getting Info Sometimes we're talking to a friend, coworker, or family member, and we want to pull more information out of them than they're willing to give. This can happen for numerous reasons. Maybe your child is lying about spilling the milk, or your friend is keeping information from you to avoid hurting your feelings. This could even happen on a first date simply because the other person is nervous about opening up so soon. However, no matter the situation, there is a way to draw the information out of them. One step is to refrain from filling in the silence by talking. Don't start speaking when the person you're talking to stops. Instead, remain quiet and keep eye contact. Doing this will make them feel uncomfortable, so they'll likely begin talking again to prevent awkwardness. Another step is to get close to them, pull up a chair, or step near them. This will make them feel more like an open book because invading someone's personal space shakes them up. They will try to dig deeper for the information you're looking for since you've made them feel slightly uncomfortable again. Either that, or they'll run away. There's only one way to find out. Let us know how this works for you. Number 6. Yes Man Have you ever wanted somebody to agree with what you're saying? Maybe you wanted your mom to say yes to extra ice cream as a child. You might want your significant other to agree to go to your favorite Korean restaurant even though they aren't fans of kimchi. Whatever the case, if you want someone to comply with you or want to seem more approachable and likable, then this is the psychology hack for you. The simple trick is to nod while you're talking to a person. This gesture is a symbol of understanding and agreement. In a study done by Janichiro Kawahara and Takayuki Osugi from the Hokkaido and Yamagata universities respectively, they put head nodding to the test. 
They took 49 men and women over 18 years old. The participants were asked to rate different figures for likability, attractiveness, and approachability. They found that people who were nodding their heads were 40% more approachable and 30% more likable than the ones who weren't doing anything or shaking their heads. Doing this also makes people more likely to agree with what you're saying. It reinforces that the words you're speaking are true. So remember this trick next time you want your wishes granted. You're basically your own genie with this technique. Number five, stand out. There are also some psychological tricks that will help you stand out in the crowd and make people remember you. One way to be more memorable is to be first or last. This applies to several things, including interviews. If you're interviewing for a job, then you should try to schedule your meeting either before everyone else or after them. People tend to remember the beginning and end of events better than they do everything in the middle. This can also apply to a first date. If you're trying to leave a good impression, then make a memorable entrance and end on a positive note. There are numerous ways to do this, but the easiest way is to let your unique traits shine through. People will be more likely to pick you out from the crowd if they recall what makes you different. Number four, aim high. Another psychological hack you can use on people is sure to get you what you want in no time. Let's say you're trying to get a certain amount of money for an item you're selling. To accomplish this, your best bet is to ask for more than what you're hoping for. When people hear a high amount first, they will most likely refuse to pay it. But when you give them the lower price, aka the amount you really want, they are more likely to say yes because they think they're getting a better deal. Companies do something similar all the time when they're trying to sell goods. They will place a higher priced item next to one with a lower price to sell more of the cheaper thing. This technique has to do with anchoring, which is when people depend too much on the first given piece of information to decide on something. For instance, if somebody sees a more expensive necklace sitting next to one that's a lesser price, then they are only comparing that lower priced one to the costly one. They aren't taking into consideration that there is probably a necklace even cheaper than that. Therefore, they might go ahead and purchase it. So, if you begin with higher expectations, then you're more likely to come to the agreement you want. Number three, get out the way. In the wise words of Ludacris, move, you malicious woman, get out the way. Yeah, yeah, the song doesn't go quite like that. We're doing our best here, folks. But anyway, this psychology hack will come in handy when you're in a crowded place. Do you ever become frustrated walking through a busy area when everyone and their mothers seem to be standing in the walkway? Well, fret not, young grasshopper, we've got you covered. The best thing you can do to clear a path for yourself is to stare in the direction you're heading. Don't take time looking at the people surrounding you, your phone, or your friends for guidance. Just stare at the place you're going. People will begin moving out of your way. Make sure you're walking somewhat quickly and with confidence as well. If the people around you see where you're trying to go, then they will move because they know that they're blocking your path. Of course, they might be sliding out of your way because you look like a man on a mission, but does it really matter? Number two, gaining trust. Another hack that will work on anybody is mirroring. Mirroring somebody's body language is a great way to gain their trust. Now, this technique usually comes naturally, but if you do it subtly, it's a great way to make people not only trust you more, but also like you more. When you are talking to somebody and you do the same things they are, then a bond will start to form between you. The most common types of this are yawning and smiling. If you yawn and another person sees it, then they will most likely yawn too. You've probably noticed that yawning is contagious. Smiling seems to catch on as well. For example, if you smile at the cashier at the store, then they will smile back more often than not. So you can use this to your advantage. If you're on a date with somebody, for instance, then try to mirror them. Don't be too obvious about it though, that might come off a little strange. But if you do it correctly, then they will admire you more instantaneously and will feel happier overall. Plus, it makes them feel like you're in sync, thus making them more comfortable around you. Number one, listening. Have you ever had trouble remembering what people say to you as they're saying it? Maybe you have difficulty paying attention, especially if the topic of discussion isn't one that strikes your fancy. 
However, there's a way to make people think you're hearing and understanding every word they're saying. And honestly, it does actually make you a better listener. When the person you're talking to says something, take the statement and paraphrase it. Then say it back to them. Now, this doesn't mean say every single thing back to them. That would be very strange and might earn you an angry glare. But doing this every once in a while throughout your conversation will help them see that you're listening. This also communicates that you truly comprehend what they're trying to tell you. Now, this might seem like a facade, like you're attempting to make it look as if you're a good listener when you're just the worst. However, this is not true. It will truly help you become a better audience. When you repeat the things you hear, you retain the information much more easily. Ask any teacher out there, they will tell you the same thing. They've all taken the information they've gathered throughout the years and begun showing it to other people, thus absorbing it better themselves. Which of these hacks will you try and why?